I can use all the skills in academia, but also have those skills be directly beneficial to a better world effectively. I'm a researcher with the Oxford Martin School and the Mathematical Institute. I'm an economist by background and I work on using big data, satellite data and machine learning to investigate issues of poverty and environmental parameters in developing countries. So for this project, I combine different sources of satellite data with um, data from OpenStreetMap, so that's an example of big data, in order to train a machine learning model to generate a layer that can be used for any city on the planet to generate an idea of roughly how many people work in a given 500 by 500 meter grid cell. I've been working in a policy partnership with the World Bank Samira's work at the basic was trying to crack a nut that we hadn't been able to crack for a while. We don't actually know in most cities of the world, and especially in the developing world, where the jobs are. It's basically going to help tell us where we should be placing our infrastructure. So for example, where the transport system should be to better connect people to jobs. We really needed a methodology that was quick, uh, scalable, cheap to deploy. I had always had my eye on the World Bank because working in development economics, that is one of the most direct and powerful players in the field. So when the opportunity came along to work with them, I jumped on it. They gave me data on 14 cities. And in my PhD, if I had access to data from one of those cities, I would probably have sold off my arm. Having access to their network has been fantastic for a young researcher like me. The data layers I've produced have already been used for a flood assessment across five sub-Saharan African countries. It has been used in a drainage project in Mozambique, and we are also in the talks of using it for a public transport planning across Indonesian cities. I think it's, it's, it's going to be very helpful uh, for, for World Bank teams, but actually beyond the World Bank, for many teams probably in the developing world, to be knowing where the risks are and what part of your infrastructure you should be protecting or climate proofing against floods. One of the challenges was the difficulty to translate work that is highly technical so that the audience on the, on the side of the practitioners is actually able to understand how they could use this in their work. One thing that, that I did learn along the way is that there's never enough communication. I think we started off with a couple of meetings, then we had a bi-weekly meeting, and at the end actually we were having meetings every week to make sure that the, the excellent research that Samia was doing was really catering to the needs that we had as an institution. So I'm also glad to work with two institutions, the World Bank and Oxford, that I trusted that there could be something there and that they saw the possibilities rather than the risks. <laughs>